Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers Sealed Saturday Booster Box Edition. Before we jump to things here today, I wanted to talk about the links in my description briefly. I do have a Patreon link with the variety of tiers and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Spreadshirt shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount discount code for 10% off where you can build your own custom playmat and card sleeves. Here my lovely Patreon supporters, you guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. Now, with that being said, let's get moving. The first booster box loser of the day is a collector booster box, Throne of Eldraine. This booster box is down 0.6% since last week, 0.7% since last month. Its TCG market price right now is $327.11 and its average price is $360 and its TCG low price right now is $322.99. Our next booster box loser is Gate Crash, and this booster box is down 0.1% since yesterday, 0.3% since last week, and 3.9% since last month. Its TCG market price right now is $130.71. Its average price is $149.99, and its TCG low price is $109.99. Now this set's market EV is currently $110.61. And the next booster box loser is Innistrad, and this is the original Innistrad set, down 0.9% since yesterday and 0.9% since last week and 1.7% since last month. Its market price right now is $793.34, its average price is $829.99, and its TCG low price is $762.98. Currently, this set's EV is $140.48. And the next booster box loser is Scars Mirrored in this box is down 1.9% since last week and 20.1% since last month. Its market price right now is $642.11. Its average price is $750.98 and its TCG low price is $590. Currently, this set's EV at the moment is $202.58. And our final booster box loser of the day is Corset 2020. And this booster box is down 1.5% since yesterday, 1.9% since last week, and 1.4% since last month. Its TCG market price at the moment is $120.73. Its average price is $150. And its TCG low price is $124.49. This booster box's estimated value right now is $125.64. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest booster box winners of the week. And we are going to start that list off here with Return to Ravnica. This booster box is up 0.3% since last week and 2.8% since last month. This TCG market price at the moment is $139.96. Its average price is $149.99. And its TCG low price currently is $120. Now... This booster box currently has an estimated value of $107.50, making it actually a little lower than Gatecrash's EV, and that was actually a loser on the list today. Three most expensive cards from the set are Cyclonic Rift, sitting at $31.41 for its market price and $34.81 for its average price, and Blood Crypt sitting at $17.89 for its market price and $19.98 for its average price, and Steam Vent sitting at $17.42 for its market price, and its average price is $17.84. Next up on our booster box winner section is Modern Horizons 2, and this draft booster box is up 0.2% since yesterday and 2.6% since last week. Its market price right now is $210.07, its average price is $237.50, and its TCG low price at the moment is $209.70. Currently, the set's EV is sitting at $190.30, and the top three most expensive cards Currently from Modern Horizons 2 is Ragavan Nimble Pilfer sitting at $74.80 for its market price and its average price is $80. Solitude sitting at $46.78 for its market price and its average price is $48.54. And Endurance sitting at the third spot sitting at $40.07 for its market price and its average price at the moment is $40.16. 
Next booster box on the list is Ixalan, and this booster box is up 0.3% since yesterday, 0.5% since last week, and 1.7% since last month. Its market price at the moment is $151.74, its average price is $186.97, and its TCG low price is $149.86. Now this booster box's estimated value at the moment is $82.82. The top three most expensive cards from this set right now are Growing Rights of Itlamok sitting at $21.19 for its market price and $23.11 for its average price. Jasath Sun's Avatar sitting at $17.65 for its market price and its average price is $18.40. And then the third spot is Vanquisher's Banner sitting at $11.42 for its market price and its average price right now is $12.12. And the next booster box winner is actually one of the most recent sets. It is Crimson Vow. Yes, this booster box is up 4.5% since last week and 2% since last month. Its market price at the moment is $78.79. Its average price is $109.45. And its TCG low price is $76.14. Now, this booster box's estimated value at the moment is pretty low, sitting at $58.58. .58. The top three most expensive cards from the set are all Mythics. Sitting on top at the first spot is Cultivator Colossus, sitting at $23.03 for its market price and $23.11 for its average price. Chandra Dress to Kill, $20.20 .20 for its market price and $19.99 for its average price. Hallowed Haunting, sitting at $14.29 for its market price and its average price right now is $16.99. And our final booster box winner of the week is Ultimate Masters. This booster box is up 1.4% since last week and 7.4% since last month. Its market price at the moment is $494.78. Its average price is $542.94. And its TCG low price is $475.99. Now this booster box's EV, if you include the box topper, is $426.20. And the top three most expensive cards from this set are all box toppers, not to my surprise. The first spot is Liliana of the Veil, sitting at $266, followed by Cavern of Souls, sitting at $249.97. And the third spot is claimed by Mana Vault, sitting at $249.68. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your weekend to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers Sealed Saturday edition. I hope you guys enjoyed all the information today. Let me know in the comment section which booster box surprised you the most and which booster box do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave down there, so please leave it there below. Also, I do make these videos every single Saturday, so please come back and join me next Saturday for another Magic the Gathering Sealed Saturdays edition. With that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day and have a great weekend. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.